How to test and replace the EGR valve of a Honda City car. How do you know if your EGR valve is bad? What are the symptoms of a failing EGR valve? Your engine has a rough idle. Your car has poor performance. You have increased fuel consumption. Your car frequently stalls when idling. You can smell fuel. Your engine management light stays on. Your car produces more emissions. You hear knocking noises coming from the engine. This is the EGR valve of Honda City car. I will show you how to service and test the EGR valve. Remove the EGR wire socket and two 12mm size screws and remove the EGR. Step number 1. After opening the EGR, I will clean the EGR service first using an air cleaner. Clean the EGR valve thoroughly using air intake cleaner. However, constantly rooting these exhaust gases will lead to carbon buildup that can clog up the EGR valve, causing the system to run inefficiently and harm your engine's performance. Step number 2 How to test the EGR valve wiring of a Honda car with a multimeter. To open and test the EGR, you must first know which wire is the negative line and which is the supply voltage. First, set the multimeter to DC voltage. To check the EGR valve supply voltage. To check the supply voltage, turn the car ignition key to on position. How to check supply voltage with multimeter Connect the black lead of the multimeter to the negative side of the battery or car body and check the supply voltage with the red lead of the multimeter. We'll check all the lines of the socket of the EGR valve. The first EGR valve wire connection above the socket is the positive signal 5 volt from the engine ECU. The next two wires above the EGR valve socket are the engine ECU control connections. This wire line below the EGR valve socket is the positive supply of 6.27 voltage. Now I check if any EGR valve socket wires are permanent ground body earth. Multimeter ohm position set beeping sound to check EGR valve socket wire permanent body earth. Connect the black wire of the multimeter to the car body or battery negative site and the red wire to the socket wire. When connected to the wire of the EGR valve socket, the multimeter will make a beeping sound to understand that this wire is the body earth line. A ground body worth line below the socket and another positive supply 6.27 volts. No problem with the EGR valve wiring harness. Step number 3 Now I will test EGR valve with car battery. Also connect the two wires to the two pins below the EGR valve. The black wire is the ground body wharf line of the socket. The blue wire is the positive supply voltage of the socket. I will check with a battery by connecting two wires to the EGR valve. The black wire is the ground body earth line of the socket. The blue wire is the positive supply voltage of the socket. Connecting the blue wire to the positive side of the battery and the black wire to the negative side of the battery will open the EGR valve and not connecting the black wire to the battery negative will close the EGR valve. If there is no problem with opening the EGR valve, and if there is a problem without opening the EGR valve, then replace the EGR valve to solve the problem of your car. I have checked the EGR valve and there is no problem. I will install the EGR valve. Install the EGR valve and tighten the two screws of 12mm size properly so that it does not leak. Remember that if the EGR valve leaks, there will be problems when driving your car, such as rough idle, poor performance, increased fuel consumption, increased emissions etc., fit the EGR valve properly. I will connect the socket of the wire of the EGR valve well. After completing the EGR valve installation, I went inside the car to start the car engine. I started the engine and tested it by driving, there is no problem. Watch the full video, if you have any problem to understand, please comment, best wishes and congratulations.